Hi, second grade, Miss King here. Last week, I read to you Ging The Gingerbread Loose in the School, and I hope all of you really liked that book. It's personally one of my favorites, so I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Well, this week, I'm back with another story, and this one is by Dan Santat. I like a lot of his books, so I do have a lot of his books at my house. And this one is called Are We There Yet? And I feel like this book is so relatable especially if you've ever been on really long car rides. So, when we're reading this book, I want you to think about whether, look at the illustrations, I want you to think about whether in the, they're in the past or the future. So that's gonna be like your little challenge, something to spot while I'm reading the book. Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? By Dan, A story by Dan Santat. The car trip to visit Grandma is always exciting, but after the first hour, it can feel like an eternity. You might find yourself saying things like, are we there yet? Or, this is taking forever. Have you ever felt that way when, you, when you've been on long car rides? I know I have. Staring out your window at a thousand miles of road can get boring pretty quickly. Not even all the toys in the world can help. But what happens when your brain becomes too bored? Minutes begin to feel like hours. I'm bored. Hours feel like days. I feel sick. Ooh, looks like they're on a pirate ship. Think about that. Is that the past or the future? Days become months. My butt hurts. This will just be a quick trip, your parents promised. I have to go to the bathroom. Roar. But it feels like it's been a million years. Whoa. Looks like they've encountered some dinosaurs. All right, friends, do we think that's the past or the future? So take a second to savor the moment you're in. This will help make time fly by quickly. Ooh, now they're riding on the dinosaur. Ooh, how cool. Whoa, fancy. All right, welcome. Maybe it'll fly by too quickly. Ooh, look at our illustrations. Do we think that we are in the past or the future? 257 Kaplan Avenue? That's grandma's address. It's not here anymore. Today is October 24th, 2059. We missed the party. Don't worry, we're not there yet, but we'll be there soon. The road is full of twists and turns and you never know where life may take you. We're here, so sit back and enjoy the ride. But remember, there is no greater gift than the present. Ooh, they finally made it to Grandma's house. Can we go now? The end. All right, second grade, I hope all of you really enjoyed that story. It's one of my personal favorites, and I hope that you enjoy the activity that goes along with this story. Think about all the car rides that you've been on and a destination in which you would like to go. All right, I hope everyone has a good week. I miss seeing all of you, and I hope everyone stays healthy. All right, I'll see you next week. 
Bye.